Hi Tumits from My Life Mits, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Uh, today's video is going to be a journal with me session in my Hobonichi cousin and we want to do some catch up in my pages and I thought I would pop on here and just chat with you. It's going to be very rambly. I'm not, I'm going to be in and out of uh, discussing the process with what I'm doing on camera but I, th I just want to sit down here and chat with you so I hope that's okay. Uh, a lot of the collage elements are from Courtney Diaz and she's Little Raven Inc and I will leave her Patreon down below. Um, I subscribe to her monthly Patreon page and she offers a whole bunch of printables. Uh, it depends on the tier but um, so a lot of the elements are from her. These really cute pastel uh, days of the week I really wanted to use for uh, decorating my weekly spread. So in the front of the Hobonichi Cousin, there is like this weekly section. And in the weekly section, I like to concentrate on things that I am thankful for, like a gratitude, I guess like a gratitude journal. So I, I like to make it really colorful for that reason because I want to, I don't know, I want it to be a happy place. And although I do document the number of new cases every day in Tokyo, I still want to keep it a positive place and I, I make sure that I do journal about positive things throughout the day and um, so I like to keep the pages colorful, mainly colorful. Sometimes there might be like more of a vintage vibe going on but for the most part it's usually colorful and happy and cheerful. Um, so yeah, I'm just using her collage bits from that. I, I really enjoy using her days of the week uh, in my Hobonichi Cousin. And yes, so I think the rest is pretty self-explanatory. I journal about a trip we went, um, my family went to drive away from Tokyo. Every time, like usually on the weekends if we have some time, uh, we like to drive away from the city and drive towards nature and where there's less people because there's a lot of people in Tokyo. Uh, I mean, it's just a given, and thankfully, majority of the people wear masks, and we just like the nature. We like we like the outdoors very, very much, and uh, yeah. So on weekends and things, um, during I think there was a, it was a long weekend. We went away, and we went for a day camp. Uh, we are very much a camping type of family. <laughs> Even, I know it's called day camp, but to be honest, it's pretty much like a barbecue, if you think about it. We set up our, we don't even set up a tent. Um, we just have this, I think it's, uh, what's it called, a gazebo, or like a sunshade. <laughs> and in this case, uh, when we where we went, we didn't have, we didn't need a sunshade because we had our cars there. And then there was this really big hill um, that gave us this nice shade. And so, yeah, we didn't even have to put up our sunshade. We put, we took out our tables and chairs, we brought out our food, and uh, we didn't even make a actual fire pit, we just used, fired up the grill, and yeah, so I know we call it day camping, but to be honest, it's kind of like a barbecue, <laughs> but we really like doing those kinds of things, we like spending time outdoors and letting the kids um, enjoy nature and, you know, feeling, we were, there was a nice little river there right by the barbecue place so the kids uh, well we all had to go in the river I, I don't feel I didn't feel comfortable just letting the kids roam around um, by themselves in the river but the water is was clear enough so I don't know it's just fun for the kids to experience those kinds of things because we don't we can't really there's no river close by to our house here in Tokyo um, it's just nice for them to experience other um, settings, environmental settings, but uh, they really liked, they had so much fun. Um, it was very hot, <laughs> very hot and humid, but the water was very refreshing and my daughter likes to, she, she's not, she doesn't know how to swim per se, but she really likes to um, kind of float around and yeah she, she's totally different from my son my son doesn't like to get his face wet and it's just so interesting to see their different preferences and characteristics but we all had a really good time um, yeah so what were you what have you been up to these past few weeks um, did you enjoy the I think a lot of kids right now are going back to school 
I think September after Labor Day, uh, the, uh, Labor Day holiday, a lot of kids go back to school. And um, my sister was telling me the schools have like staggered opening days. Uh, I guess it depends on the school, but a lot of the kids are now back at school. And yeah, I'm curious how do you sp how did you spend your last bits of summer? Remember back home, um, the end of summer meant <laughs> the CNE, and unfortunately this year it's it's it was canceled. Um, yeah, it's CNE is like a definite must at the end of the summer. We would go to the CNE to eat like fried. Oh, what was it called? Fries Mar fried Mars bars, or what was the other one? Fried butter. I tried one year. I didn't find it really exciting at all. <laughs> but it's just those. It's just like childhood memories going to the CNE. We wouldn't really ride the rides because there's always some kind of accident with those like uh, traveling. What is it called? Traveling. You know what I'm talking about. You know the traveling amusement parks. <laughs> that go to different cities but yes so we would eat those foods and uh, we would play fun games and I remember back in high school we would visit the CNE um, for cheaper clothing like the a lot of the clothing was on sale I don't think these brands are out there anymore but like Sirens and uh, Le Chateau I think was one <laughs> Uh, Susie Shear, I don't think Susie Shear is in business anymore, but those kind of brands, they would have like um, sales on like uh, black pants and black pants you always need, right? Like when um, I ha I was working, I would work part-time uh, back home as a pharmacy assistant for many, many years, I think seven, seven years or something. But yeah, I would go through, I would always need a good pair of black pants that would be on my feet for the whole like um, shift. Sorry, I'm like totally off topic, but yes, uh, yeah, I would remember going to the CNE at the end of the summer. So I'm curious to know if you have like those traditional summer, end of summer activities that you do. I think for the people in Australia, winter's finished now and I think you're um, starting to get into spring. So I'm curious if you have like winter, end of winter uh, traditions or things that you always like to do year to year. I really hope to be able to create those kind of traditions with my family maybe day camping would be one of them in the summer months uh, to camp and you know spend time outdoors I found this um, I received I think this was from you Techo she sent me some paper goodies and this is part of like a note paper pad and I think it's fun to use different shapes and different uh, especially these note paper pads because the colors are not as vibrant and they are kind of muted down so you can easily journal on top of them and they're nice and thin because they're on just regular paper it's not like a, a cardstock or one of those journaling cards so if you have some of these like note paper pads lying around I suggest you use them it's really easy and fun a fun way to add some journaling to your page I didn't have enough writing space for my journal spread so I just added that um, camping car is it is that what it's called but yes, I tipped that in and then I journaled on top of it. And here this day we went to, we went uh, outlet shopping. I think it was outlet shopping. And then we found a, a Panda Express. <laughs> I know this may sound like a little, I don't know, childish, but I haven't had, um, the last time I had like North American Chinese food was the last time I went to Panda Express, which was a while back. Uh, I know it's not anything similar to the Chinese food back home, and it's probably totally different from actual, actual Chinese food, but sometimes you miss that like greasy um, North American Chinese food, and I was really happy to be able to have some. And I think my time is up for this Journal With Me session. I totally rambled on, and I, I just... I really enjoy these uh, this time spent with you. I I thank you for always being there and for always uh, journaling along with me. But anyways, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you soon. Bye bye.